Hello everyone, uh, just a quick update of my previous video where, where I, I was trying to um, pinpoint the effects of age on two Sony PVM monitors. Uh, you may remember that I had trouble um, pointing you um, compression artifacts on what I thought to be um, a bad source, whereas here uh, if you look around uh, the thing that looks like a lanyard here, uh, those artifacts are, are blatantly obvious. So, uh, basically what happened between the two videos? Well, in fact, I bought a couple of things to improve uh, my demonstration. First, I bought a tripod. Uh, second, I bought a better camcorder, which now has um, a shutter speed setting. Uh, three, I bought a couple of RCA to BNC adapters so I can now chain the monitors and uh, show you both at the same time. And okay, some more things. I also changed the output mode of my DVD player and select and chose um, component instead of RGB. So, um, what di why did I do that? Uh, I did that because uh, it's easier to pinpoint some uh, a few things when you're in component ra rather than RGB. More precisely, everything related to um, luma noise, uh, luma artifacts such as compression artifacts on DVDs, uh, artifacts such as a ringing, halo around edges, are even easier to to pinpoint where, it, where you're in components than when you are on RGB. Because of the nature of the signals, RGB sm smooths out um, those, um, those defects. So, um, what I'm going to do now is showcase, showcasing you uh, another setting that I forgot to show you earlier, which is the aperture setting. The advantage setting is um, accessible, can be found, I, I mean, inside the menus of the 14L2. Because the one you see here is the 14L2. Just I remind you of this. The one at the top being the 1454QM. So, okay, it's here. The aperture setting is here. What aperture, what aperture is is some kind of an analog um, unsharp masking effect. So watch carefully as I am increasing the aperture setting. Okay, just I'm zooming out so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you can also notice how sharp and crisp are the, the 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 OSC display the letters of the the OSC on the L2 it's just amazing okay now I reach the maximum so I'm exiting uh, I'm exi exiting the menu okay so I'm going to do one more thing uh, just one more thing I cannot do in RGB and that I can do in component is adjusting the chroma because as you may know um, component se separates the chroma and luma so it makes makes it easier to okay to do those things Okay, so now uh, I hope you, you can see all the compression artifacts I was trying to talk earlier more easily now. Uh, there's something interesting I can show you here. It's um, the letters of the subtitle here. Okay, the character at the center, at the bottom center, should I say. You have uh, plenty compression artifacts around this zone, because uh, basically how MPEG-2 compression works 
it makes it uh, harder to compress all those areas where you have sharp edges uh, to make look good <laughs> uh, I don't know if, I, if my sentence was correct but you get the idea okay let's turn this up again now I'm going to do the same thing on the on the 1454 at the top okay just making a few precautions before I make I make the demonstration okay now we are on the 1454 at the top okay let's zoom in zoom in I said okay like this it's perfect uh, the up the, the purchase setting on the 1454 is not um, a menu it's a button it's a knob on the front of the monitor uh, just okay just showing you how it looks like it's this knob on the monitor um, on the 1554 whereas on the L2 it was inside the menu so let's put ourselves here and watch carefully what happens um, I will ask you to watch carefully not only the parts that I pinpointed earlier but also all the edges you see uh, on this picture so here we go now I'm turning up the aperture setting okay okay now the edges are beginning to to look very nasty to me just look just look at the at the legs of these characters to me it's absolutely awful <laughs> okay the side effect of this is you can pinpoint the, the, the artifacts better but at the cost of register precision around edges so um, now you get the deal there's now one more thing I want to show you on the 1454 okay let's turn the aperture setting down uh, it's how the contrast is set just look at the contrast knob it's at full blast it's at full blast and the picture goes hardly brighter than what you've just seen okay now let's go back to the 14L2 at the bottom um, you may notice that I adjusted the contrast of the L2 um, in order to have the same approximate, approximately the same brightness at the 1454 just now um, now look at how the contrast is set uh, if I can show you this properly I think yes uh, the contrast knob is here and just look how it is set it's almost uh, turned down at the minimum and just look how, how bright it gets now increasing the contrast okay now I'm, I'm, I'm at the middle now I I am at the max. Do you see any de degradation on the picture? Myself I cannot see any. Just look at the the OSD menu now. The OSD menu is still sharp even at full at full contrast. Why did um, where this whereas this is hardly the case on the 1454? So I guess we're reaching now um, the end of the, this video. Um, so the conclusion to this uh, is the same as before. Uh, this still um, this still um, show us that the the monitor at the top is not good for anything else anymore well except of course showcasing um, retro, retro games for example at the convention 
but if you want to do science job with it, uh, uh, you cannot count. You you just cannot count on it. Uh, on the other hand, the one at the bottom can be used for almost anything. If you want to control, for example, the quality of the offering of a DVD or anything else, the one at the bottom will be uh, a very faithful companion because. Of its amazing, um, of its amazing shape and its amazing picture. So, I hope this was more helpful uh, than the previous video. Uh, I wish you en enjoyed that, and thanks for watching.